Hey, we are live. Live. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hey, what's going on? We actually oh. live. Yeah, we're actually live. We're actually live right now. Everyone, can... have I got the pants on? Have have you look? If you you look different, hey, dude. I told myself I wouldn't <laughs> shave until we released it. So today's the day. <laughs> well, dude, you can find... actually don't shave. That looks good on you. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> you look you look beautiful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Tom is basically uh, Tom Hanks in Castaway right now. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna start <laughs> talking to his decks. Do you know, I'm, I'm, I'd be less nervous of being naked on camera than I'm worried if I've got a Dex like laying around that I might actually flash. <laughs> I can't really think about this live stream at all, so I'm just. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I was, yeah. No, I will let if it if it ever if you will start to flash something, I'll 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 just swap over to like, and, and we're like, oh, we, that's what happens when we flash. Now you go to Rigby Can. We have so many people in the chat. We got Shark Traeger, Zed Cali, Mentalist on a shoestring. Uh, we got Sam Sugarman that says have Javier Claus, but he spelt it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> David P says, oh my god, it's Hagrid. <laughs> You're a uh, wizard, Hagrid. Oh, uh, the seven of diamonds. Well, I'm gonna go find a seven of diamonds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that's why Dex is just a regular deck. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, well, Alex yeah. Bo, loser two thousand, Josh, Ooh. Ophir, George. But George is in the office, like right behind her. So yeah, yeah. So you probably oh, yeah, see George right run there. past, or like be peeking through the window in the, in the background. Oh, I'm so nervous. But, like, so the. The, the plan is, for everyone that's watching in, in the chat, you can either go watch the trailer live without uh, us talking, or we're going to actually stream the trailer live when it goes live, so you can watch it all with us at the same time. You're gonna see Will there be a sound delay if you go live? No, because it'll be streaming through the screen. Um, so whatever, everyone, everyone oh, watching I should be fine. <laughs> oh, have you shaved? Yes! Oh, oh there he is! There he is, boys here. So uh, yeah, you'll be able to see the stream live when it goes live with the the trailer. If not, I apologize and I will quit my job. Guys, there's four minutes to go. Yes, four minutes to go. <laughs> I set my live stream for three twenty nine with a one minute countdown, so mine should start in. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. But it says two minutes, so there's two minutes on oh. my live stream. Yeah, I think. Two minutes. <laughs> I said, I said, I can't feel my arms. And someone's like, <laughs> oh, somebody exposed Dex. Oh, man. What? They said it's actually a razor. <laughs> <laughs> um, how was your weekend? How's everyone's weekend? Good? Very good. Everyone's busy chatting. Everyone's busy in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> chat, chat. How, I'm going to talk to chat here. How, chat, how was your weekend? Let me know what you did. Um, have and Lloyd are busy responding to people about Dex and all the group texts. They're busy texting too. So, let also me know. big shout out to everybody at the Society of Secrets in the Discord. I can see you. It's just going off. The chat's crazy. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> yeah. My wife. Uh, my wife is going to get me donuts right now to celebrate, and because the boys got donuts in the office. Yeah. In Cal yeah and I'm not gonna lie. These donuts are the best donuts ever. They are clouds on earth hang on when didn't you have five in there was it six i, I what <laughs> wasn't there six before yeah now there's yeah <laughs> yeah, there now, yeah there was belly. well i can't see the chat probably because my other monitor's in the way but so for lloyd's releases being three letter words <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah who yeah what is that lux lux x. and it has to have an x in it as well yeah Maxim. Max. Yeah, Maxim. Yeah. Maxim is because it's, it's big. You have to you go take extra pro caps. Pro caps. Proc. 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 That's a stretch. Cognito. Well, not long now. So, uh, guys, come here often. What's the cap? <laughs> What's the countdown? I mean, I, I talk to you every day, babe. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's the countdown? I don't know. I'm just waiting for the YouTubes to refresh it and then we can watch the trailer. We can all watch the trailer together. It'll, 
I haven't seen it, man. I'm so excited to watch this trailer. Yeah, Lloyd said to me before, have you seen it? Because I haven't seen it yet either. I saw little bits of it when I was making the reel up before, but I haven't watched the whole thing all the way through. Um, so I am very... You what? <laughs> I can't believe you didn't watch it. Dude, no, I wanted I this to be like the I... first time. So this is my actual reaction to this. I'm very, very excited. Alan, what's going on, bud? Good to see you here. Um, what's up? What's up? At least oh, on a shoe string. At least Jake, Keane, what's up, my brother? What's up, what's up? Fix the co-host, co-host, co-host of the Black Art Podcast with me, and he had, he is featured with a, an incredible set of mentalism effects on the uh, decks. Instructions yeah. come from PDF, supplied by Jake, teaches you some really left field thinking on billet work to go with decks, which most people you don't assume you can do billet stuff with an uh -huh. index. Yeah. Nancy Anson, hey Lloyd from Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not prepared for this live stream. Yeah. Like, it like it's... ten minutes ago. <laughs> it's like cold, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, the uh, uh, well, I think we we're all too excited when we first jumped on the call, and now we're like, there's, it's all about to happen. Where it's, it's all about to come to fruition. I don't know about this live stream, but my my trailer has thirty. 29 seconds remaining till it goes live, I think. Oh, mate. Well, I think Murphy's has gone live at... Let me refresh this because this has just gone 3.30. So let me let me see. Premiere will begin shortly. So let me just jump over here. and. Uh... I just dropped a card and I can't handle it. I hate not having uh, one card. This will, go, this will go full screen when the video starts. So let me just wait for this to go live. And then... Try going live in three, two... Oh, it's going live. Oh. So let's go full screen. Oh. I'm actually really, really excited. I'm going to turn the audio down on this for a second just so we can, we can chat a bit more. Let's watch it. I'm very, very excited for this. I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen this yet. Um, let's do it. Start up, boys. I'm a dealer and couldn't get any hands on a single copy, so sad. Yes, sorry, Justin. Uh, more on that in a little bit for everyone that's just tuning in. We will talk about that in a little bit more. Um, and if you've got any questions about decks while you're watching this trailer, feel free to throw them in the chat too, because we will chat about it more. Here we go. People are coming. Let's go. Let's go. All right. There was literally thunder and lightning in the back of Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> 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 Deck is a secret device that hides an entire deck of cards inside of your pocket. Due to its intuitive design, you have instant and effortless access to any single playing card. Are you here on time, Are you here, Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yo, tell me what happened to them. Huh? Talk to see what happened, man. All right, so I had a one, and as you see, I just continued on with another trick. So we just did any other trick, pick a card, change it into that card, and then 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's, can, can you guys shuffle those for me? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite playing card? Playing card? Yeah, like one of those. Do you, which one's like your favorite? A, like a suit? Or a card. Any, any card. Like not an ace, because everybody like, thinks of an ace. Yeah, but... say it's king. <laughs> a king of hearts. The king of hearts. How come you chose the king of hearts? Is that like your favorite card? I guess, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I see the card? Sure. Yeah. Look, check it out. Inside this deck... Oh. It's the king of hearts. Yeah. Look, the king of hearts is actually... Every single card here uh, is red, all except one. Would you be impressed if that was your card? Yeah. The king of hearts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the only one you could have named absolutely any part of What would you do? How would you handle it if somebody literally ripped the deck from your hands in the middle of an invisible or brainwave deck performance? Look, that is actually, look, the only blue card in the Oh my god, lies. Deck. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see the rest of it. Let me see if I have to her. Hello. It'll be right on top. <laughs> You're looking for the other queen? That's because it's from the Nonsense other deck. you got going on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can, you can check Wait, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what lie you got going on. All right. You t check all you want. So what how you do that? Tell me. He's so angry. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's only one blue one, and it's the one you name. No, I can't do it. You the strongest and most important feature of DEX is not the speed. It's the fact that it allows you to access any playing card without having to think about it. You use muscle memory and autopilot, allowing you to be fully present in every single routine that you perform. You're just the top, 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 and look at the look card at you start down. Start. <laughs> no way! That's the only card in the whole entire deck. Keep looking, no keep way. looking. No way! No, 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 no. <laughs> Dex is not just the most advanced pocket index ever created. Every Dex includes the first of its kind five hour masterclass where we teach you over 40 tricks, 10 essential slights, advice and performance enhancing techniques, ways in which decks can save you when <laughs> other tricks go wrong, interactive practice sections, and so much more. This guy had a, the card, like all of these cards is red. This guy turned the card by rubbing it on my blue bottle, blue. <laughs> How do you do it? How do you do it? Wait, do you look at that YouTube person? Never in my life. Bro, you are amazing. I mean, that is incredible. Let's see, one card. Oh, no, no <laughs> way. This is real. <laughs> no, that's right, because I just like randomly walked up. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Elevate your magic beyond conventional limits. Erase complicated sleight of hand, remove unnecessary gimmicks. All with one simple, elegant, invisible yet invisible device. That's crazy. So now I need to show you a trick. That's <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh baby oh baby that was beautiful <laughs> I don't, hear us i don't know what the sitch, sitch the sitch is yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, there was a. I know there was a, a bit of uh, an echo. I think that was because I think there was some audio coming through. Maybe some speakers there, but also it was picking it up and playing it back through. So I had to like while that was going, I had to try and change some settings in my OBS to cut out background audio and stuff. So I hope that worked out. Hopefully, okay. we're trying to buy it right now. Um... 
but uh, <laughs> well, I don't think it's live on the magic shop. There's only I think there's only seven magic shops that will have this on their store as soon as they uh, turn their stores live. Alakazam, yeah. Penguin, and the, and the main two, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, people are tagging me like crazy. Yeah. In, the society of secrets. Yeah, I know you, cool. you're busy, so you can you can respond to all the things <laughs> too. So let me just bring it up on actually I'll bring it up on Murphy's site so everyone can kind of have a look at it and we can kind of have a chat about it. Because I know it's up Let's on the Murphy site. It. So let me just click back to this share screen. Um so we can click this and here we can see Dex. Uh, I just <laughs> see I can see Day News says how much is it? It is seventy four ninety five, my friend. You can see up here that's how much it is. Um, it is, we'll get into it in a little bit more because I learned it for the first time when I was actually over in California. So, oh yeah, that was fun, dude. Um, there's, a, there's a lot. So you can read this on your Murphy I, I, site now. See the, yeah. Let me have a look. Uh, you have all the ad copy and stuff. Would you want to, the actual screen? Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 So I just love this reaction. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. stunned. Reaction. What's it name? Ju- Juliet? Juliana? Jules, Jules, she was, Man. she was, but that other guy who was like, "Let's go!" Oh yeah, he was great. He was great. <laughs> he was like, "No, no!" <laughs> oh, but the guy who, who he's like, "You took my car and you rubbed it on my blue bottle and you turned my car blue." <laughs> well, if, if you guys want, we can actually check out that full performance, or we can chat for a little bit and check out the full performance later. Um, we'll check out the full performance in a little bit, shall we? Should we just yeah, have a chat? That. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so thank you everyone for uh, for tuning in and supporting the project. Uh, up and like you know, patiently waiting for us to do this, yeah. and all around the world that have wanted us to do this. It's literally like a, it's like the longest project I think I've ever worked on. I don't know about you, have. Oh, for sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's been almost every single time we thought it was complete. We're like. But what if we do this? And well, I mean, everything is explained. We do explain everything in the instructions, like the whole entire history and everything. But um, it's a bittersweet moment. You know, I wish we could have released it earlier, but I'm glad we waited till right now because I think what we have now is just that much better. It's almost like a 2.0 at this point. Yeah. So funny, like. The original design for Dex looked so sick. It was like the, you know that like you know that this material like like sort of like like rub like spray rubber. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. Like, and it had like embossing and like gold foil, and it just looked absolutely fire. But it wasn't perfect, and it looked better than it yeah. was. It was like it was a bit thicker, only a little bit thicker. Um, but it just wasn't perfect. So we ended up Javier come up with this idea to make it like like a, a third of the size, way better in terms of like functionality, practicality, and everything. But it's ugly as as, as hell. <laughs> and we sacrificed like we, we realized nobody's looking at nobody should ever no spectator should ever see the index. Um so so we didn't care about in the end, we didn't care about what it yeah. looked like. But we sacrifice luck for uh, practicality and functionality. Functionality, mm-hmm. accuracy, yeah, yeah. No, no, sleekness cool. in the pants. I think people are telling me that it's available somewhere. Yeah, so it's available. I'm just seeing people asking questions in the chat. So I'm literally just trying to find a whole bunch of links for you. It's available right it's finally now. Available somewhere. Yeah, so right now it's available on Alakazam. You can pick it up on Alakazam. Um, it's available at Brown Bear Magic Shop. And I'm just checking Penguin Magic right now. I just checked a second ago and it wasn't up. So waiting for, it's not available on Penguin at the moment. But so for right now, you can pick it up from Alakazam, Brown Bear. Um, and we also have a couple of lists of some other dealers, um, which I will tell you where you can get them from right meow. Hey, I'm going to update my socials for people because I know they're like going crazy. Um, you can get it from oh, Three Generations because- Inc. Magic Somebody's saying Hocus Pocus has it. But I think. So, see. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, so that's what I'm trying to find all the magic shops for you. So check out your favorite magic shop, um, wherever you are. Um, hopefully they have it in stock. Um, 
Oh yeah, they have it. Uh, Hocus Pocus right now. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, and Pagani I know has it. Um, so start checking on your favorite dealers, and they should should have it in stock. Um, I'm just trying to go through the questions. The questions are coming in thick. And Andrew Niner in the chat. Andrew is included in a of the crazy creative tricks in the project. He came up with a yeah, um, yeah. One of my absolute favorite tricks on the entire project is by Andrew Niner. Um, yeah, I don't think it's spoiling anything by saying what the trick is because they gotta like get it. But you show a, a clear playing card like that has nothing on it. They name a card and then when they like turn it in the light. It's actually in like an embossed or debossed print of the card they named. That's cool. Yeah, just ridiculous. Yeah, just I watched, ridiculous. I watched it just before too. Like I was watching the trailer for like the tutorial for Stumped and it was sick and so, so good. Um, yep. Everyone just, someone just said they've got it from Alakazam, just purchased it from Alakazam. Perfect. Lots um, of purchases from Alakazam. Focus, focus. Good, 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 good. But yeah, throw any questions you have up of Dex because we're happy to answer each and every single question. Um, yeah. Or even um, we can do um, demos of it. What, what, what do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to <laughs> yeah, know? Exactly to see. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, is there a link to Hocus Pocus as well? Yeah, I'm literally trying to find those links too. So, I'm trying to let you guys, uh, if you guys want to throw it in the, the chat too, um, by all means, um, throw links up. Um, but yeah, so, um, no questions just of yet. But, so I want to talk about while this all happens, while some people get some questions in and people are kind of, I guess, picking up their DEXs. Um, you said it started from early iterations. Now it's come to where it is. How do do you know how many exactly how many tutorials like how many things you teach on the tutorial because the tutorials a good couple of hours. Oh, you know? um, we, we teach over forty routines for sure. Uh, but then every single slide we also teach like how to remove the card from your pocket so that it's not noticed, how to hide it, different ways. I mean, we even have a routine where you it uses no slide whatsoever. Yeah. So even though you are pulling and we strongly advise not to do this, this specific routine, the card that you pull out of your pocket has nothing to do. Like there's technically no reveal in that card. So it's a great routine to kind of get started, even if you're a super complete beginner. Yeah. But we even teach palming cards, palm transfers, loads, all that stuff. So from beginner to all the way advanced, there's going to be something here for everyone. Because I wanna... uh, and then it's not just playing cards. Also, we should mention there's a whole entire volume on using decks without playing cards. So like envelopes or tarot cards or even, uh, oh, even folded playing cards. So you can use decks. It doesn't take up any extra space at all whatsoever, but you can have Mercury card folded cards as well. Yeah, great. Well, that... Yeah. That leads on to, like, I guess, the next question. I see someone oh, asked. Just, just, just to clarify on oh, the yeah. Mercury folded cards, did you say like they're not folded in the decks, but we have a system which allows you to get them into a Mercury fold within like <laughs> half second? It's crazy. Pretty much before the card comes out of your pocket, oh. even if you want, the card right. is going to be already in, in Mercury card fold. Check this out. Oh, Show me. no, you did not. My wife just did a oh, man. Oh! Best wife ever. Come and say hello to everyone, Kaylee. Hello, everyone. Hey. <laughs> George turned up in the studio with donuts for everyone this morning and not me because I'm not in California. Oh. I, need to, I need to text my wife now. Oh, okay. so good. Like, if I eat these now, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate Dex. <laughs> yeah. so, you guys, sticky fingers. Do you want to see a mukbang or a Dex performance? <laughs> Look, I think I'd be happy to watch you eat on cam. <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> oh my right. goodness. <laughs> Best day of my life. <laughs> um, sorry, someone just said, is electricity involved in Dex? You what? Someone just asked, is electricity <laughs> involved in Dex? Who's been involved? No, is electricity involved? Like, is it electronic? No, no. Uh, no. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> 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 I 
Um, are there any she clothing ties, restrictions? She ties into uh, <laughs> to a question, which is one of the most common questions. Um, is Dex the fastest index in the world? And uh, the answer is, it's impossible to know. Because the question, when you think about it, isn't doesn't really make sense. It's like saying, uh, are you saying are, are the running shoes that Usain Bolt wears the fastest running shoes in the world? Yeah. Uh, because Dex, the speed of Dex, because it because everything's accessible instantly or essentially in, instantly, it, the speed of it depends on your ability and how much like sort of you've practiced it because it's not self working. And the same goes for like any index like that. So for example. Uh, like if I want to get a card out of my pocket, right? So I got I'm wearing Dex now. I don't know if everyone can see. For example, like the two of hearts. Okay, I can just reach in and pull out the two of hearts that quick, yeah. But somebody might not be that quick and might not have the might not have practiced it enough to know the muscle memory to get a card out yet. So Dex and pretty much any other index, unless you have like a Someone makes an electronic one one day that fires cards into your hand after you input it in an app. Um, every index is sort of the same. If 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 it has the ability to be almost instantly accessible or instantly accessible, then it's only hindered or slowed down by your ability. So is it the fastest index in the world? To me, for myself and probably for Javier, because we're so proficient with it, yes. But other people who use other indexes might find theirs quicker. You know, so depends on what you're at but this but with dex if you put the work in it can be yeah lightning quick for you yeah but we just don't upset anyone we know that there was like one of the most controversial titles for a video ever by saying that um so just to clarify <laughs> um I'm literally surrounded by donuts yeah someone just said can it can it load donuts so, I believe let's, it's let's give it a go. Donut flavored cards, yes. <laughs> well, that, that I guess that comes down to it. Are the cards regular cards you can use? So, can you just grab your favorite deck of cards and use that, or do you have to use a specially gimmick deck that's like thinner cards, or what card stock can you use? I, that was a really long way of saying that. Any deck, any deck is going to work. For and it doesn't even have to be poker size. You could even have a bridge size deck. Those are going to work as well. So whichever deck at all that you have, you, they don't need to be special cards. They don't have miss index or double facers. Whatever deck you use, you can put it into decks and use that. Great. Great. And it doesn't have to be a... The, the beauty of decks is that it doesn't even have to be a playing card. It can be envelopes, billet, mm -hmm. folded paper... Other than types of cards, Bills, anything. Um, yeah, it's, it's really versatile. I just someone just said it just sold out at Alakazam, so I think I just hit trying to refresh on that. Someone just oh. said in the, the chat that uh, Tom said it is sold out at Alakazam already. Um, oh, oh. Um, There's some uh, good questions coming in. Uh, someone, yes. Magic Allen says, "Does does Dex stand for something?" Uh, it actually is short for the word index, and also deck is a homonym, so it can be short for index or decks of cards. So it's got like yeah. a dual, dual meaning. And it has to have an X in it, like we mentioned before. Everything that you yes. create has to have an X in it. Um, I also saw someone ask a question about... Um, da -da 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 -da, where was it? They're coming in quick. Okay. I just lost it. How durable is it? Like, what... What is it made of? Like, is it going to last? How, like, how many? You have yours for how many performances have you done with yours, and it's still going strong? Oh, since always. Like, I've only had one, so I haven't had to change it or anything. I would say months, maybe, because uh, because I made one, and then I had the one they sent. I would say I've had it for six months or longer. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, and it's non it's in my pocket all the time. That's every great. day. I, really, I would really uh, struggle to break mine. Yeah, like, let it wear out. Yeah, I don't see how that <laughs> could happen. <laughs> to explain, but when you get it in your hands, you'll be like, "Oh, okay, this is not something that would like break overnight or instantly." Like snap or something, you know what I mean? It's not yeah. like that. It used to be made out of plastic, which 
could could have been sat on and broken in some way or some yeah. type of thing like that. Um, but but now, yeah, super duper hard. Yeah, I even think I even I think a car could break. drive over it and it would still be okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, if you laid it down flat, a car could 100 percent drive over decks and it would. Be yeah, fine. right. Yeah, yeah. I think we're safe to say that. Uh, another great question do that. from Chris James. Chris James asks, uh, "What's a good a, a good pro tip to any beginner starting out?" A good. What? Watch the interactive practice section. <laughs> okay. well, hang on, is that is that um, in there when I learnt Dex? Because I learnt Dex, have taught it to me when I was at Murphy's. And that was a very beginner thing. Like, I hadn't seen Dex before. I knew what it was. Hadn't seen it, hadn't touched it. And then Have goes, can we teach you Dex right now? And it took me, what, about just over 30 minutes? I think it was probably like 33 yeah. minutes or something, if we were going to yeah. split hairs. But it was literally just over 30 minutes for me to get Dex in my hands and then you told me how it was set up and how it worked and then straight into it. And then obviously it was like, you didn't tell me anything else. That was all you told me. And then 30 yeah. minutes later, I was performing Dex. Yeah. So I will, I will, I will also say this, uh, Wesley here, he is not a magician. He's our, he's our editor, cinematographer. Um, he's the one that edited the Dex instructions. And it was the second project he had ever worked on in the magic industry. Again, he doesn't have any magic experience. And he liked it so much, he actually learned it. He learned it in three, four days. He was able to consistently, without mistakes, pull cards out one after the other correctly. Yeah. Um, and he said it was just pretty much any time he would be rendering a video, he had a little off time, he would kind of practice the cards, pulling the cards out. Mm -hmm. In three, four days, he already had it. Ten cards in a row, just back to back, back to back, back to back. Perfect. Yeah, because that's what we were doing by the end of my 30 minutes. I think we were like getting cards. Out. That was the first time. Like I've used indexes before in the past, but not to this extent. Within like 30 minutes, I was like pulling out. Well, I think we are doing mm -hmm. cards back to back as well. And I, yeah, um, there was one thing that I did and we did speak about it because I was still quite unsure. And if I went 30 minutes and then to go out and perform it for someone, I would still a little bit, a bit cautious on performing it. I'd want to put more time in it than 30 minutes. But what I would do is if I went out and performed it for someone, I'd do it with like a group of people and just to double check and make sure I would say, you know, you know, you chose, you know, the black card, you chose a spade, you know, you chose the the high cards and as i'm doing this i'd be double checking in my pocket that i have the right card and then pulling it out yeah 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 so yeah breaking it up it's almost like you you are within the cards that you need here you go <laughs> sorry i just, I just really just saw in the chat <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, that donut. well I, yeah i think the thing to, to, to think about first and foremost with decks from any skill level is that it is really quick, but the, the, the reason for the speed is to not retrieve it from the pocket quickly. It's just so that you can just have any card at your fingertips so that you can focus on your performance. Yes. So if yeah. I have a deck here, I think there's, is it someone's mentioned in the chat a card, have they? Uh, yeah. uh, I had a dream that you pulled out the six of hearts in your pocket, right? So say for example, I had a deck here or I handed it to somebody to shuffle. If I'm shuffling like this, uh, and, and someone names the six of hearts or a different whatever card. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to have access to that, but also be able to chat to them. So if they throw me off and say, actually, hold on to the deck, or can I sign it, or or can I shuffle, whatever it is, I don't want to be in the middle of a procedure. Like some indexes, you have to do other things and think about them. I want to just be able to completely have a conversation whilst retrieving the card. So the lightning quick element is only for your own ability to talk and perform so with that being said as a as a beginner don't worry about keeping your hand in your pocket so you're absolutely certain you've retrieved the correct card because you shouldn't be taking it out quickly anyway you should just be able to focus on your performance so don't my my tip basically that i'm getting to is um don't rush it because that also that's not how it should be used anyway it just happens yeah. to be quick but that's so that you can perform without thinking about it as opposed to be go as opposed to saying name a card boom it's in my pocket because mm -hmm. if you do that i'll come to your house and strangle you <laughs> <laughs> um 
As Caesar Magic said, uh, when will it be available? It's available right now. Um, this one isn't pre-order. It's straight to purchase. So start hitting up your favorite magic shops if you want to pick this up. I can see Peg would have listed it, but it says out of stock. So either they've sold out of their stock or they're waiting for it to come in or something. But I get the, there is a link to Penguin, so it won't be long, I assume, before it's up on there. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, Pagani has it in, in Europe, right? Yes, Pagani has it. Definitely. Is, that, is Pagani Europe, though, or they, is Denmark not part of the EU anymore? Let us know in the chat. Tom, Tom Cock has a really good point, um, which, which is, he says, if a spectator names a card from the deck, won't there be two of the same card in the deck if you load one from decks two? Wouldn't the spectator notice two of the same card if they, want, if they wanted to inspect? Th that's completely true. But the way that I, that I combat this, which, me which means that no one ever cares, is that I say, I've got a deck of cards here, or if, if, it depends which way I, could, I, I present it, either as a prediction or as a surprise, but I, essentially what it says, there's a deck of cards there, and I've also taken one extra card from another deck and placed it in. So I don't say I've taken it out or changed its colour, I just say I've taken one more card from another deck of cards and I've placed it in there. What card do you think it is? So then if, if there is a duplicate, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because you just told them you've taken an extra card and added it to the deck. So you just say, there's 53 cards in that deck. One of them is from another deck. What card is it? Yeah. You have also another way of, of doing it where is you just make something appear inside of that deck rather than changing. It's a different uh, trick, I guess, or a different mentality to go around about it. Um, but you're just saying that you're going to make something appear inside of the deck rather than change one card or I right? put one card that is from another. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it could, yeah. it could just do that as well. Um, the somebody other, was asking, huh? Sorry, the other thing we know is that people don't really care. Like even if they, if you don't say anything about it and they find that it's got the same card in the deck, like it doesn't, Make a difference, well, right? Well, yeah, if you if you see from the trailer the, the lady that handed me the dog, <laughs> um she had both cards in there. So she had the blue card and the red card. It, it didn't matter to her because she she was wondering how the card changed color or how, where is another card with another color rather than like, oh, why are there two here? Um but she had both cards in the in the deck. Yeah, exactly. He's also asking um, how many pockets does deck utilize and one. Yeah. So the whole deck is going to be just in one pocket. You can put it in any pocket at all that you want, front, back pocket. And there's even Andrew Niner teaches also how to use it on a table where it doesn't use any pockets at all. So if you have a table, you can use decks with no pockets. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, 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 someone else was asking uh, somewhere about the thickness of decks and uh, like how thick is it because some indexes are huge or if they're not huge they sometimes split the deck in half into two pockets or they have to use slim cards so i actually did some research and uh, there goes some chocolate <laughs> uh, decks is so a deck of cards is 24 a, a deck of cards is 20 millimeters thick in the box right so that's 20 millimeters on a regular bicycle deck Dex is 24 millimeters. So that's 20, that's 24. So just to give you a frame of reference for that, this is really sad that I did this, but it was the only thing I could find. For reference, a tic tac is <laughs> a tic tac is six millimeters thick across. So Dex is thinner than a tic tac or than a box of cards. So if you can fit a bicycle deck of cards in your pocket, you won't notice. And you don't notice if if I close my eyes and still put a, a Dex or a bicycle box in my pocket, depending on which one, it, I wouldn't be able to tell from just standing there alone. So, yeah. So basically, Dex is smaller than a Tic Tac, thicker than a box. That's six mils. And Dex is four mils. It's kind of the only way I can describe yeah. it. Or another way of looking at it is... Um, like I measured a British two pound coin, and that's about three millimeters, whatever that is. Uh, how would you? But yeah, so it's Dex is about that 
thick, when it's fully loaded, completely maxed out in your pocket, not not when it's empty that's fully loaded. It, like, it's yeah. split in hairs to try and like, make it, unless you didn't ha- have a deck in there. It would be split in hairs to make it any thinner. Um, Zeman asks, how long do you need to misdirect on average when performing decks? Again, that comes down to your performance. Uh, yeah. Uh, you want to perform. Go on, have. <laughs> I mean, I think I think it depends. I think it depends what what you're doing, but or what trick it is that you're doing. I think in reality, you may not even need to misdirect if if, if the trick that you're doing makes sense. So, for instance, one of the things we talk about in the trailer in the instructions is if I if I hand you the cards. Here, go ahead. Take the cards. I don't have anything. I want you to do everything. So this is just relaxed position. So there is no misdirection that needs to go on because at the time the spectator has the cards. Maybe they're shuffling, they're counting down, and you're in a relaxed position. That's why you're not doing anything. Your hands. Um, but you can also, for instance, if I go in my pocket and I just fix my jacket in that motion, we can steal a card. So you don't really need that much misdirection because there's ways to hide it, even if people are watching you. Um, it's going to take, let's say, anywhere from two, three, five seconds to have access to the card. But you don't even have to remove the card at that point. Let's say I wanted to take the eight of clubs, right? So here I have it ready where I can take that card out just from, I mean, eight of spades just from the thumb so look my hand never went in the pocket yet is going to take that card out so you can also split the retrieval of the card so that it can be hidden and then you don't really need that misdirection and the misdirection is really going to be happening if we want to consider it that in the spectators you can watch the performances and you'll see nobody ever looks here they either look at my eyes or they'll look at the deck. Like they they never bring the attention down because nothing is happening there. That's just well also it's just very counterintuitive to think you're pulling the card out from your pocket when they have the deck in play. It just doesn't make exactly. sense to them. Exactly. Um but the other part on the, on, on that there's also a, uh two at least two tricks on the project where uh because what we say is this if you're using decks to just pull a card from your pocket, so say somebody named a card like the eight of diamonds and i reach it and say ta-da it's in my pocket that's the wrong way to ever use an index because that tells the audience that there's something special in your pocket because that's the only option they have for a method and if they have that if they think that which they will then they're absolutely correct so you should never use it to just pull a card from your pocket uh, but there are some people that maybe until they actually try an index out for the first time might be worried that they that they might get caught like you're saying so there's actually at least two tricks on the project where uh, we design special tricks where pulling the card or the, or the, the object from the, park, from the pocket is the focal point. But because of the way the trick is designed, it doesn't, they wouldn't think you have extra things in your pocket because you're not revealing something. You're not pulling something out of your pocket as, as if to say, can you believe that's the only one of these in my pocket? It, they lead somewhere else. So we have a couple of tricks on there that literally bring attention to the pocket but for the right reasons. And it's a really yeah. good way to practice decks to realize that people just will never see it. But it's there's some cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I love that routine. Someone just said that the card on phone that was in the trailer, do you need any special apps for that? Yes, that's a... a... Yeah, yeah, that's a card to phone app, I think it's called. Yep. Um... So I'm also trying to catch up on all the the messages while everyone is saying this. Um, someone just said it come out on Penguin and it's also out on Saturn Magic, which is great. Oh, beautiful! Um, uh, is there any audible noise or weird click when uh-huh. retrieving a card from Dex? Uh-huh. Well, I can I can I can demonstrate it. Like, yeah. Did you want to? Well, name a card. Me? Anyone of you? Both of you? Name one. Well, I'll, I'll name them the number I have. You can name the suit. Uh, I'll ah, name... Okay. Uh, sorry, you're picking out a card. Uh, ten? Uh, hearts. Ten of hearts? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... I don't I don't have any noise reduction on. So you, okay. you should be able to hear everything. 
but it's completely silent. So I'm going to reach into my pocket. I'm going to try and do this loud, if there's a way to do it loud. Uh, what did you say? Ten of hearts. So ten of hearts. Ooh, there's the nine. <laughs> That's, I, that teaches me right for not trying to reset it. I don't know if you've heard that. There, I didn't hear anything. No. There's no sound. It's just you go in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah, if you put your hand in your pocket and quick. you pull your hand out. Can you see anything on the camera if I reset it? You? No, you can do I that. And if, if you want, we can actually jump to a full camera view so everyone can see you in, a, in its beautiful entirety and then um, the audio as well. No, I'm trying to reset it off. I know, no, no, I know, yeah, no, I mean like after if you want to do it again. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I flashed it or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you did it, you did it. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Da, 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 da. Well. Uh, yeah, there's no noise. Um, everyone's just asking about where they can get it. Um, oh, I think Penguin have it now. Yeah. For real. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah. Right. I can finally have it. Yeah. So on that thing about um, it being in your pants, is there any clothing restrictions to this at all? Um, Not really. Uh, just wear pants. That's how <laughs> or actually, if you don't, if you want to go pantless, just put it in your, you can put it in your hoodie. You can even put it here. Um, or on, on a table. With yeah. No pants. Yeah. Perfect. Other than that, yeah, as long as, and it doesn't matter if they're tight or somewhat loose or shorts, it'll work with any pants, any any jeans. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's now. No, actually, I would say I I got a pair of shorts, and uh, the the pockets in the shorts are really baggy. They're like down, like literally to my knees inside, and I find that if I two decks in there, obviously it's because it's down on my knees. I'm like. Tilt it over. Okay, so yeah, you want a pocket that you can actually get into. Easy. Yeah, you want a pocket yeah. that's like reachable. <laughs> if that's a restriction. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not those cargo pants that you got to go by the knee like that, and then you'll look a yeah. little. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yes, you can use nope. a jacket. Okay. Absolutely, Andrew. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You can do. <laughs> um, George says if you don't have pockets, you can also do it from the zipper. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, that's true, Joe. <laughs> jacket. You can also use it in a jacket. Yeah, sweet. Um, do we want to see? So, there's a penguin alive. I don't know if you want to share the link in the chat. Should I share the link in the chat? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I just on the penguin site now, so you can see it up on penguin. Just here. Alec and Palmer sold out. Yeah. So. Um, um, can I post? Do you want to post it as a comment on this video as a and pin it to the top? Yeah. So can... If you want to do that. And then uh, we can also, it'll be in the description also after, but absolutely. So if you want to post the links, I can pin it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> People are going crazy in my Discord. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, then we can um, show um, a full performance like if you like. I'll comment on this video. Uh, um, yeah, go ahead. Someone asked if there will be, is there any issues for left-handed magicians? No, it's, it's actually because Javier does it with his right hand. I do it with my left hand. So it, it um, yeah, it go, you can do, you can use it both sides and it, and cause it is one directional. So when you have it in your pocket, you have to have it an or a certain orientation, but yeah, I have it one way and Javier use it the other way. Completely normal. Um, pin message. There you go. I just put the link in the chat for um, it being on Penguin. If you guys need, I can't post a comment in the video. That's okay. I've I've done it on the uh, yeah. I think in the comment section you can't do it right now until I think after the video or something. And then, but in the live chat, but I'll put it also in the comment section and in the description as well. I'll put it. I'll put it everywhere that you guys need places. Sign up. Yeah, quick. whenever you guys need to see it. Um, do we want to see a full performance of Dex? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, man. Let's go, baby. All right. I don't want to touch those cards, but just think of, see a bunch of different cards in your mind. Okay. Don't pick an ace. Everybody picks an ace. Just pick one out, the most random card you could imagine. What is it? You can name it out loud. And I can't, I can't tell you the name. You can tell me. You can tell me. It doesn't matter. You're holding all the cards. 
the six of hearts. The what? Six of hearts. How come you chose the six of hearts? I didn't feel like it. You just felt like it? Can I see the six? Right here. Uh, can I see your hand, though? Watch, look, watch. Let's put it here, look. You've been holding on to these cards from the very beginning, right? Look at this, look at this. What color, what color do you see? Red. Red. All red. Watch this, watch. Do you mind if I use this? A little blue here, watch, look. Can you take the card here and watch, look, 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 look. If you rub it against your beer because the beer is blue, the card turns blue. <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Get the f out of here! This, 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 dude, you know what? This trace. <laughs> this was this was red. Look, dude, it was this red. Card, this everyone, what happened? What happened was this guy had a, the card. Like all of these cards is red. This guy turned the card by rubbing it on my blue bottle. Blue. How do you do it? How do you do it? Dude, I just rubbed it. That's it. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> so now I need to show you a trick. All right, go, go, go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> So I was literally just responding to a couple of people in the message then, and I saw that the performance ended. What did you guys think? Um, okay, so I saw some comments about some, I think some dealers missed out on it um, because we have sold out. Um, so if you are miss out on it, um, I know there's some dealers that obviously still have it, like Penguin, like with LinkedIn. Um, so if you pick it up, sorry, my dog just jumped up there. Uh, if you pick it up, um, Penguin have it, but if we sell out, like we have sold out for us to get it back in stock. It's going to take about a month or so. Is that month right? Correct? I think about a month. Is, yeah. It's month fast. or two, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. So say, part, say two months just to give you some space. And they're kind of a little difficult to put together. Yes. Um, so, there you go. So, that's uh, great. I think uh, <laughs> I'm still reading about the dream. That Evitar had with you. Um, I want to know about this dream. Yeah, I'm, that's, I'm trying to read that. I expected to turn into a magic trick. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, up. Lloyd, somebody's asking, uh, I remember something similar created by Daniel Madison. Can you mention the general differences? Yeah, completely. Um, so the advocate by Madison is, is literally it was it was one of the big inspirations if not the big inspiration for Dex I know Madison we've traveled together I've seen him perform it a thousand times I've used it for years um it was the starting sort of point for it except I I'm just I'm just not as good at it with it as as like other people I'm like especially Madison so I wanted a, an index that suited my needs and the thing for me is that I struggled with the counting mainly with it that's the thing i couldn't just couldn't wrap my head around so decks were sort of developed to take care of that so there is no counting to the values uh so that was like the start of it and then also like um i don't reveal anything about about the advocate but the advocate's something you sort of make every so often and have to remake it whereas uh dex is you know should last years um, and if and if not, then they're so affordable that you can get new ones. But this they're durable and yeah. So this that was kind of like a, an inspirational point, start of point, and and also like the advocate was made like twenty years ago, um, and it shows how good that is for it's taken like twenty years for me to even come close to making something from my style. Um, so I had the initial brainchild for Dex, and then I just said, "Have you?" This is kind of what I've got in mind, and I literally drew something on a piece of paper. Uh, like that and made it square. <laughs> I sort of sent this to Javier, sort of thing. <laughs> and then he went loco with his 3D design <laughs> package. Honestly, it was honestly, it was literally I sent Javier a picture like this of what I had in my head. And that's pretty much about as much development as I put into it. Like the rest really is Javier. <laughs> so, so 
please direct uh, the, the design questions to him because it's, it's this baby. I, I can't talk about those. Yeah, incredible. Both did it. Uh, oh, George said three months for. There you go. Three months. I think it took two months to come and then one month on the way here. Okay. So two months for production and then a month for like uh, travel and arriving and customs and blah, 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 blah. Perfect. Um, how do you see the tutorial after you buy it? So what's what, what when someone opens up their beautiful Dex packaging, what are they oh, going to yeah, find? Oh, yeah, we have it right here. Woo! Baby. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um so when someone opens it up they get like a little instructional card in there yeah great. yeah it'll look like this i'm gonna cover the important <laughs> stuff <laughs> yeah great and then you'll have a qr code dude smooth fingers there um <laughs> i saw the thing there dex dex for finger dexterity hey that's clever that's a good one i do like oh that that's good. good 10 points to gryffindor <laughs> Um, <laughs> Griffin Dex. What <laughs> size cards will it take? Um, poker size, bridge size cards. You can use it for for billets technically as well. Um, Mercury yeah, card cards, cards, envelope be... bills, little papers, anything. Mm -hmm. Right. Andrew's coming in with the good questions. Andrew's got it all going on. Um, yeah, I think. Let us know if you have any more questions on this. I think, well, what else did you guys want to, anything you guys were really burning thing you want to tell anyone about Dex? Oh, where to begin? <laughs> there's so much. Yeah, there's so, there's so much. And, and for some reason, over the last, I've dropped a card and it's making me go crazy. Um, there's been so much controversy. Not con not controversy, but it's been like such a heated topic of of is it the world's fastest is it the world's best is so and so is quicker i think the, the the big key issue for me is that like well the big point is that like there's a there's an index out there for everyone right some people perform magic on stage and they have their indexes like inside the suit jacket so they can retrieve them like this uh some people have indexes for coat jackets they're big open pockets they have lots of room they don't need to be come back some people don't mind taking up two, three or four pockets. So there's index for them. Everyone, there's an index for everyone for you to use. It's not, I don't think it's a zero sum game. It's not, a, it's not a competitive industry. We just design decks for the way we like to perform, which is we wear skinny jeans and I have my phone in one pocket and decks in the other. I only want, and I think that's exactly, well, it is exactly the same for yeah. Javier. Yeah. So the index we designed for us, for me and Hav, was, for people who wear jeans and don't want multiple pockets taken up and don't very often wear coats, or if we do wear coats, we don't want to be using an index in them. So if you're like us, Dex is probably the right one for you. If you if you have different needs, then the other indexes, there's ones from Cosmo, there's the Cheetah, there, there's the Advocate as well. Like there's so many different indexes out there for everyone. And I think... Um, once you get like your head around that, that it's not like just one, one and done, then uh, there'd be less controversy. But yeah, if, if you're anything like us, you just want to use one pocket in in normal fitting clothes, and you want it to be lightning quick. So I, that's why we created Dex. Perfect. Yeah. Um, King OK said, "Have can you see? He wants to see a one wheel trick. Now we do have Dex um, and a one wheel video coming uh, out. So that's all I'm gonna tease there." Yeah, what what type of one wheel trick do you want to see? I have it right here. <laughs> oh no, we started the chat about one wheels now. We've lost half. We've lost it. Huh? We've we've lost you now. All we're going to talk about now is one wheels. <laughs> oh yeah, if you start talking about it, I can't stop. <laughs> Quick load, distracted. Um, <laughs> the, the other the other major question, unless you can see, because there's quite a lot of comments mm -hmm. to catch up on in the in the in the chat here so i don't know if you want to pick any out but like like i re briefly touched touched upon earlier is that you shouldn't be using decks as a card from pocket because like we said it's the only method out there so the, the big thing i say is that that with this index or any other index uh it, it, if 
if you want it just to compare speeds and just to pull a card out of the pocket, it's the wrong way of using an index ever. Because it's the only method that the audience can have is that it was something in the pocket, right? Yeah. So even if you just do if even if you just part, like steal it from decks as you turn to the side and pull it from a different pocket, at least you're max you're masking the method somewhat by doing that. But um, yeah, and, and then with that being said, the speed isn't really the fact isn't really the important thing. The important thing is is getting to realize when you should retrieve it so that the audience are they you know maybe you have the card ready in your pocket to be palmed out, but you think you know what they might burn me at the minute, so I'm going to wait a minute until I hand them the deck to shuffle and then their attention's on the deck and then you can steal it out. So like Max Malini said, wait a week. It doesn't matter how long you need to wait, right? Just, <laughs> it's not about the speed to the audience. They don't know you're trying to get a card out quickly. They don't know where the effect is going. Yeah. yeah. That, it's nothing because they, they, you shouldn't even, they're not thinking they're you have the a, deck in the hands. Yeah. 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 They don't care about how fast it is. They care about good magic. Classroom yeah. If you want to pull it, if you want, if that's kind of like the effect you want, like pulling it out of your pocket, it's almost like, uh, you want to produce a card very quickly from a specific place. You could do it from your hat. You could do it from your shoe. And the steal happens when you remove the hat or when you take your shoe off. And then, or like Lois said, you just put it into into another pocket. Um, but it's hidden that way. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> The, the tricky question for you have what's the weight of the index do you want to know i can how, tell you how many how many oh yeah perfect there you go that's perfect hang tight if you um, want to know i will tell you oh yeah because you have the nice little scales there so there you go i have going to weigh that up for you now um ba -ba -ba -ba. i'm just trying to catch up on the questions sorry guys i'm trying to read the, the questions as well as the coming in <laughs> so i'm trying to catch up as we're answering the questions it. Did I flash it? <laughs> Everyone's going to be running back now. Um, palming scale, palming skill needed on a scale of one to ten. For certain tricks, zero. For yeah. some tricks, a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you said, there's a lot of routines in here. Um, yeah, there's a lot. So there's yeah, we basically said, what if a brand new beginner, someone that has never done magic before, picks this up, we made the instructions so that they would be able to do the mm -hmm. things we're teaching as well. Yeah, great. It's um, 65 grams. That's how much it weighs. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you for having. Um, You're welcome. You're welcome. I was hoping, uh, to tutorial, how long is until it is available? Um, I think that depends on which dealer you got it from. Um, because you're getting it shipped out, so you should have the instructions, um, and then it will go live. But it depends on your dealer whether they're, yeah, yeah. But it'll come with a card when you get it, so that, that... yeah, yeah. When you, when you do get it, you'll have instant access to it. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, that's what I was reading. Sorry, I was trying to read the rest of that question while we're trying to answer that. But someone said they bought it from Alakazam. Will it be available on their online account? No, it'll be streamed from the Murphy's website. So that's what you'll get in your package, a website with that. Um, I'm just trying to catch up on everything. I think that's... Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of comments. Yeah. Um, I think that's the kind of the question. I think I kind of caught up. If you guys can see another question of you, I just have another question, throw that in. But I think I've caught up on my questions that I can see. I'm trying to like highlight it here so I can see everything. But I think I am good. If you guys have got any more questions, please throw them up. Um, I don't see it up on an, any EU shop. I know that um, Pagani have it and Tesma Stagmaya. Stagmaya? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I apologize. I know they have it available. Um, Tesma, I think, is in Germany and Pagani is in Denmark, I believe. So they should have it up. Otherwise, yeah, the next closest one uh, is Alakazam that I know of. Um... Yes, is maybe we're asked is Dex available into dealers in the UK? Um, well, we are currently sold out. So, unless a dealer in the UK has picked it up, I know Saturn. Someone said Saturn has it before, and Alakazam are now sold out. Correct. Um, so I know some dealers 
half think sold so. out. Yes, Alakazam is now sold out. Um, that was so, fast. They yeah. bought quite a lot as well. Yeah, so Alakazam have now sold out. So I think the next bet is Saturn Magic um, if you're looking for decks. So try that. Um, great. Uh, Junior Rodriguez is asking... Is this like Rubik's Cube where you have to keep practicing to build muscle memory? I would compare it more to riding a bicycle. So once you ride the bicycle, you pretty much can ride it after years of not having used it. I kind of feel like the same thing will happen with Dex. Once you learn it, just by taking a look at it, immediately the whole thing builds upon itself. So once you learn it, you don't have to relearn it, especially since... We're also taking advantage of some other magic principles that you probably already know and use every single day within Dex. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just a one-time thing. You practice it. Once you have it, you can pick it up at any time after that. No need to relearn it. Perfect. Um, see you later, King OK. Thank you so much for dropping in, mate. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. 10 hour long school day. Jeez, that's a long day. Ooh, that's a long day. Um, yeah, Penguins still have some. That's correct. Um, yeah, Tesma, maybe they're still updating their site. Or oh, they might have sold out. I don't know. We'll double check on that. We'll try try and chase down some more links for you. Um, see if we can find some. I know people are selling out, so I hope we can find some for you soon. Abby, get on the one wheel and do a one wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, show another performance. We'll have some more performances for you. Skinny hats, sheets, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you, okay, so are you gonna do? Have you got? So Dex? somebody said that the, the, the bulge looks big in your pocket, but then like you're wearing like <laughs> Olivia Newton John style. Yeah. Tight <laughs> they're not jeans; those are tights. I think they were borrowed from Peter Pan. Yeah, these are brand new, also. So I haven't broken these pants in. Look at look at look at. Uh, I think my phone stands out more than my decks in my pocket. Oh, let me see my phone. I'm gonna put my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an iPhone. Um, someone just said I'm literally driving to Saturn to pick up my order do, 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 do. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah yeah, your phone definitely stands out more than that did you want to try and do what a Dex one wheel now oh yeah, let's yeah, yeah I'll see if I can do it try it. name one let's go through I want you to get the Ready? I can't see it. The what? Eight of clubs. Eight of clubs. I don't know if I can do that one. Uh, here's the deal. Let's see. Um, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was fast. That's good. Um, oh. Yes. Uh, Darren, I can check with that. So Darren has asked if he's bought it, can he see the tutorial before his goods arrive? Um, so you can start watching the tutorial and start to learn everything. Is that a possibility? Would you prefer that everyone has decks in their hands to watch along with it? Or is it something that people can watch now uh, and then when it arrives, to get straight into it? I think they could watch it now and then when it arrives, they will have already seen the different routines, the different ideas. And then maybe when they get it, they'll have more ideas. But I don't think it ma like it's necessary for them to actually need to have it unless but, they want to start getting into practice. Yeah. So I think, Darren, probably the best bet is either chat to the dealer that you bought it from, send them a message or an email, because they should have the units there. They'll be able to open up your package and give you the link um, because they know you've bought it. Otherwise, um, you could possibly send me a DM on Murphy's social media. Don't do it on my personal one because I'm never on my own personal one. Send to me on Murphy's socials and I'll double check and clarify with the magic shop, but that's going to take some time. So you're best to just message the magic shop and chat to them and they'll give you the link and the password and then you're good to go. Um, yeah, David's asking the same question about the tutorial. Um, Luca says, if I start to use an index, would it be great as a first index? Uh, Luca, I mentioned before, this was like the first proper index I actually played around with um, and that I used and yeah, I picked it up within 30 minutes. So 30 minutes had me performing it. And to be fair, we were recording the whole thing. So I probably would have had it quicker 
but we were, we were recording and we we're going over bits and how my process was. So I would have had it down in less than 30 minutes, but we were discussing back and forth and where I went wrong and that type of thing. So I think it was about 33 minutes that we were actually going for until I had one after another, like I think 10 cards to have come out and be right. Um, yes, so absolutely. You can definitely do it if you're a beginner. But I, I, I would say on top of that, though, um, that like, even if you could learn it in 30 minutes or like, I think the average speed is going to be like 30 minutes, yep. maybe less, just to like start getting it down. Uh, I would definitely practice it for longer than that <laughs> before going up before it. Uh, because yeah. I think that's just the same with every magic trick. Yeah. Like there's not many tricks that I wouldn't practice for a good hour or two before taking it out and performing it just in general. But I do think it's important to state that this is not self-working. Like this is not uh, completely skill-free. Like you do have to put a bit, a little bit of practice in. Yeah. But once you have it, like how you said, it's like riding a bike. It's one of those things that like when you first try it, like, oh, okay, got it. And then once you once you've got the neck down, you've got the neck. It's kind of like Oh, it's like, yeah. Like when I was a kid spinning a coin. The first few times I tried spinning it, you know, oh, yeah, you spin yeah, a coin yeah. or whatever. And then once you've got it, you know, you could just do it without thinking. It's kind of that that type of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wouldn't go out and perform it straight after 30 minutes and know literally get it down <laughs> 30 minutes and I would not go out and start performing until I had like my, my routining down and I was happy with it. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, a, you... it's a new, it's a new uh, physical movement, uh, but, but but easy. It's just new. So when you when you get it down, then you'll have it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You can go also through the instructions and see which routine automatically puts the focus on the spectator, because we have a ton of those. So you can start practicing those. You could start performing those that. The spectator's pretty much doing anything, er, uh, everything for you. And you're just kind of there just chilling and you just need one little moment to put that in or to do whatever it is you need to do. So I would recommend starting performing those. And once you get used to doing those, then you yeah. can do anything. Right. Um, yeah. Alex has asked, who's faster, have a Lloyd? Do we, want, do we want to have a competition? Have a do we have a competition? <laughs> Come on. So, how do you want to do this? Do you want to wait? Hands up the cards because we both we we Take a card, hands out the pocket. Do you want? You shouldn't be doing it this way. Don't do it this way in the real world. Don't do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't have a dance off in the real world. I have a bunch of cards that are not in in there already. So, did you want to? Did you want to reset? Have? No, it's okay. Okay. Um, I'll try to remember what's out. Oh yeah, try and remember this is out. Okay. So. What is it? The ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds? Yep. Okay. Are we going to start now? Oh, oh, I already took it. Oh, oh you already got it? You already got it? No, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't even start. <laughs> okay. Wait, did you get it, Hal? No. No, I went in to get it. Okay, so if you haven't got it out... Uh, let's do a different card and okay. we'll do it at the same time. He, okay. I can't see the screen. Okay, let me... I'll shuffle it up and then I'll even call it out for you. So let me... Okay, okay that's good. And then, and then count to start when to get it. What's that? Four of spades. Ready? Okay, tell when. Ready? Set, go. I'm probably going to get this wrong now because I'm Russian. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it. <laughs> I'm going fast. Yeah. yeah. I used the hydraulics method. <laughs> yeah. I did. I, did, I literally, I, wait, I did, I, I did change the method. Wait. Oh, you're using hydraulics the other method that we're discussing with earlier. All right. Uh, I'm just going to leave it out. Okay. Uh, Blue Fiber, where can you get it? Uh, any of your favorite magic dealers? Um, I know a couple of them have sold out at the moment, but there is one pinned. Penguin Magic is pinned in the chat if you want to go try them. Depends where you are in the world. Yeah, yeah, um, I, 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 I had it in hydraulic setup. Instead. Okay. Are you, are you ready to go again? Yeah. yeah okay. I'm the right let me, let me shuffle the deck. You can have it in Chased or Hydraulics, which is H uh, Hearts, uh, Hearts Diamonds Club Spades. And I set one up. Yeah. Hydraulics. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's try again. Well, the king of, oh, the jack of clubs. No, that's, okay. Oh, wait. Jack of clubs, ready? Go. Are we going to get counted down? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you done with the hands in your pocket? Ready, S set, go. Hang on, Lloyd already had his hand in the pocket. <laughs> 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 there you go. Um, Alex Kilpatrick just said seven of diamonds. You what? Seven of Diamonds. Hey, there you go. Ew. 
Um, how long, there you go, another good question from Andrew. How long does it take to reset? Oh, I'll do it now. Well, here, I have four cards to reset, now. and I'll do it over here. So there's four cards to reset. Uh, Am I okay? I think we can see in the time. Try not your camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't, yeah. And um, it's back in my pocket. Yeah, there you go. Um, can you demonstrate <laughs> the card retrieval just using your thumb? That's one yeah. of the features. Oh, can I? Yeah. Try it. It takes a little longer, just letting you know. Are we naming a card? Or are you you doing... Oh. Uh, like, take any card, let's say the five of hearts. Okay. So here would be just with the thumb. Okay, there you go, perfect. Um, sorry, I'm just also trying to scroll through the chat. I got caught up in in the, the decks off there. Um, I will say this. Some people have asked, um, because usually the card will naturally come out in cup. But if you want, it can also come out in palm. It's up to you, however you want to pull it out. There you go. So cop palm works. Um, can you reveal the material of decks? Is it PVC? Is it faux leather? <coughs> um, love. It's durable. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, it's not leather. It's not leather. No, it's not leather. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I don't know the exact name of the material. Okay, this is... Um, <laughs> Nico just asked, uh, who's faster at pulling a poker in, uh, hand from index? Poker hand? What, like all, all of one value? Yeah, I guess like the uh, like a royal flush or like you know, a poker hand. But yeah, you can definitely do that. You can definitely pull multiple cards from decks if you want to pull out a poker hand, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you are going to be doing specific poker hands where you let them choose the actual poker hand it's better to set up the decks for that trick even though you can just pull one card at a time if you want but it would be way faster if you just um set it up specifically for that yeah it would I mean, just be one we do cover this in the in the in the in, yeah. the, in the master class we because on the back of a bicycle card is it, have i got one here i literally think i just do one in the bin i don't even have any more on the back of bicycle advert cards like this, there used to be one that explained the poker hands. And one of the things is you set up decks with the poker hands from there. And then you say to someone, oh, think of a poker hand. If, you, if you're struggling, you can use one of these, but it doesn't matter. And they'll just hopefully name one of those, but they probably should because it's just the standard poker hands. And then, uh, and then because it's like kind of like a loose force and you already have them set up in that poker hand order, you can just reach in and pull out the full four cards or five cards, whatever you put into that poker hand. Great. Um, Jeremy said he believes it's made from Dexium. Dexium, it is. Yeah. Dex <laughs> I like it. Uh, so, yeah, Dex is a lifetime gimmick. Um, Aman. Yeah, so it is very durable. Like we mentioned before, you could drive over it with a car and still be quite happy. Don't drive over, <clears throat> excuse me, your Dex with a car. So don't actually drive over yeah. with a car. Yeah. Don't yeah, do yeah, yeah, we were but you could. You show pulling out four of a kind. Hi, right, buddy. Oh, can you show awesome. them? Yeah, imagine that. Imagine you give somebody. A blank okay, deck and tell them shuffle do this. All of the kings. So all uh, the kings. Oh, you're asking me? You or me? I don't mind. I got it. You're I'm sitting, just down. sitting down. I'm sitting down. So, but I'm sitting down. It's usually easier if you're standing up, or if you do, if you use Andrew Niner's setup when you're sitting down, which is fantastic. Yeah. There you go. Um. I think just trying to do I need to take Dex out to um to put the remove card back or can it be done in the pocket? So you may have cards where you can set it up in your pocket. I personally like to take it out just so that I know for sure I put it right in the in the proper spot. Mm -hmm. But if you watch the performance, like for instance, the girls um with the teal bathing suit in the trailer 
we performed to her without resetting Dex out because she came up to us to see if we could perform. And then the guy with the beer and the blue bottle, it was the same thing. That performance came right after we performed for that group and there was no setup. So we did three performances back to back of Dex with no reset technically. Yeah, I think I even put a video up on my YouTube a couple, like a year ago or a couple of months ago um showing exactly that like i think i did it like five six times i think you did it with, yeah i think you did it with alexa that. right that was the one with yes, alexa where you got alexa to choose card after card after card after card after card until yeah you kind of went wrong yeah um, yeah the beauty of that is you can table hop then or you can do multiple performances uh with with the same group of people without having to stop so you can either hop five tables and then take it i'm i'm assuming if you'd gig, you did five tables, you could take a 20, 10 second break to reset five cards. But one card, you could just do it with your back turned in a, you know, in a beat. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Uh... Um, when it came oh, to... Oh, sorry, yeah? Go on. Okay. Oh, no, I was going to say, when, when it came to filming the trailer, is there any funny blooper moments or funny stories that you guys have got? Well, the, I mean, the guy that you performed the, the bottle trick on, uh, like oh, that, yeah. that thing there where, where you performed three times in a row back to it i'll say this from my point of view as a as a trailer maker that i've been making trailers for a while uh normally you go out to film trailers and you you sort of block off two to three days to get live performances and with those live performances almost for any trick and it's mainly because a camera is posted in some of people sort of tend to clam up on camera they just get embarrassed that they're being filmed yeah. by strangers who've walked up to them in the street um so normally it takes two days to get one or two really good performances. And that's general uh, across any magic company. And people that have worked, you know, will tell you that. This was the first uh, and only time in my entire career where we got all of the performances on day one it, it, to the point where we didn't even have to approach half the people, the guys <laughs> who were screaming, oh, yeah. asked us to show the magic, the, the, the girl with their family asked us, to show a magic and yeah. uh who was the other the the guy who said you my blue bottle oh yeah to do magic this is the first and only time we've been, we were approached to do the tricks but the <laughs> people could hear the screaming oh and the, yeah and the other guy with the youtube remember he also approached us yes he approached us because every time have was starting to perform there was screams and reactions and a crowd and this is the first time i've experienced this and, and the only time where every performance was used in the trailer um, and I don't know whether that's just because Miami is great for magic, or <laughs> I think, I think, I think Dex, and not the Dex itself, but the trick choice was hit in different. For example, and we've mentioned it in the trailer, if you have an invisible deck and someone names a card, then you can show the card like that, but that deck's going to go south pretty quick because it's gimmicked. Well, the woman... And, and and that woman is sort of like the communal psyche, right? She she did what everyone wants to do, which is to look at the deck. But with an invisible deck, you can't. So as much as your reactions are good, there's probably a scratch in the back of your audience's mind, which is like, oh, I really want to... You know the whole the, the jack-in-the-box thing, right? Where you go... You need to finish it, and it's kind of like yeah, that. If you do something as powerful as the invisible deck, your audience, are, even though if they never tell you, there's something in their head which is like, "What am I missing here?" Do, do I? And she, that woman, because she didn't really, like, she was on her way somewhere, and we, she was one of the only people we actually stopped. She did what people do that don't care if they're not being polite, which is to take the deck immediately. Yeah. You can't do that with the invisible deck, but because you can do that sort of stuff with decks. There's no explanation left. So instead of them walking away going, oh, but I didn't get a chance to look at every card, or I didn't do what I really wanted to do to see if it how it worked, you do with decks. And for that, it it sort of finishes the, the infinity loop off because mm -hmm. there is no explanation now. And I think because of that, people re are, do react just a, a You could do all the great card tricks you want. You could do amazing sleight of hand. You could have mathematical methods but when it comes to doing a trick where they are holding the deck they name a card 
It's the only odd back card in a blank deck with nothing to find. The, the reactions are just that bit stronger to the point where people were screaming and it stopped people in the street and they wanted to stop us to find out what the hell the commotion was. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's also a good feeling that once you just need that one little tiny move and the entire trick is done. Um, like when we did the one at the, almost like the, we're calling it the parlor one, but at the bar, uh, where we just put the deck in the middle of the table, they name any card, you spread it, and then the card is face up. Then it's the only one from the another deck, a different color back, and then the rest of the deck is blank. And all it takes is pretty much just cutting the cards. You just cut the cards, well, and that's it. You don't even have to cut them if you don't want to. You could just you could have somebody else cut them. Like oh, you're right, yeah. Well, yeah. the thing is this, like, with that deck, with that trick in particular, so the trick would be something like Blizzard by Dean Dill, or in, like a combination of all three together in one. It's, it's like a Blizzard effect, where the whole deck is blank except for the card they name. Uh, it's also a face-up card. I think it was face-up, like an invisible yeah. deck. Plus it was on back. So it's a combination of all three tricks, invisible deck, Blizzard, and Brainwave deck. And you get the final result of all three of those effects in one, but to do, if you wanted to do that with the with the original methods that people have been using and still use for years, you'd need at least two gimmick decks, one blank deck, and you'd have to do at least one deck switch. But if not two, to have that effect to get those crazy reactions with decks, the only move you need to do is when nobody is even bothered because the deck is in full view on the table. All you have to do is this. If I have a card palmed, just like you see Javier do, you just that's it. What move before the routine really starts? That's the main thing before the routine really starts. So if the deck is on the table and you have a red card palmed from your decks, this is here. Name a card, let's whatever they name the or, or maybe you stand hold it, whatever it is. The only move is that. And now say I'm going to try and show you something incredible. Just know before we begin, I'm not going to touch these cards. Can you cut them? Boom, they cut, and then the rest is history. So you get yeah. the ultimate, you get the crescendo, you get the three powerful effects in one effect as an ultimate crescendo with one basic move before the trick even begins. No decks, which is no gimmicks, no gaffes. And, and everything is examinable at the end. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, they can keep it. They can keep the blank deck. Yeah. They can, like, it's very, 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 very hard to top that for a for a card effect yeah, yeah. It's just um, very hard to do that aman says how much 74.95 my friend i just tried to find another magic dealer brown bear is now sold out of it as well um i know a lot of people wanted us to price this high like in the hundred dollar mark or like we're expecting us to go and like to sort of keep it out of people's hands but we really wanted to make it like crazy affordable so yeah, yeah it's, like it's just 75 dollars you get decks like which is which is assembled by literally by hand uh every single unit uh the decks packaging which you can look after your decks in because it's solid it's nice and then and then like almost nine hours of tutorials which has got like 40 tricks and presentations and ideas uh with multiple creators in it it's it's a bit stupidly cheap but i my thinking is like i want people to use like the magic that me and have you create like we want people to use it yeah, yeah. absolutely um, so yes, Aman, there are limited stocks of this. I know it's selling out. We've already sold out. I know quite a few other dealers are selling out. Uh, someone just, Andy said, perhaps Pig Cake came in and warmed everyone up in Miami first. Someone <laughs> <laughs> said, why didn't we visit him? We were actually planning on hanging out, but we, we just, there was so much content to film. There's so yeah. many things on the project that by the time we finished filming, uh, it was the last day. It was going home. Yeah, I was watching it on the explanation. I was watching the tutorial earlier and there was like daylight in the background and then like next thing you know, it was like pitch black in the background. I'm like, you guys have been filming <laughs> for a while. Like I was watching the whole thing. Yeah, so you, what, you pretty much were watching the day progress as you guys are stuck inside teaching everyone about decks. Um, can yeah. it be formed in a back pocket? Yeah, absolutely. Any pocket you could probably... Yeah, yeah, yeah any pocket. Um, 
Sorry, have I cut you off then? Were you about to say something? No, I said, yeah, I need pockets. Oh, no, no, before when you were saying about uh, shooting at the tutorial. And... Oh, yeah, it was it was pretty much, let's wake up, let's go have some coladas, and then let's go back to the studio, well, the, the Airbnb to keep filming. Did you separate your coladas? Or did you just order uh, one each? We would get each one <laughs> each. Yeah, we would each get one. Yeah. Well, I saw that on the uh, the video. I thought that was quite hilarious that you guys were trying to... Uh, get your coladas and you're meant to order separately, but you got one each. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just trying to, what kind of skill level Ray asks, Ray, any, uh, skill level. So there's the, everything in this is from beginner. I'm very much a beginner in my decks work, all my indexes. Um, and I had it down, well, not down. I would, again, I wouldn't say go out and perform it. If you have within 30 minutes, I could be able to pull some cards out. Um, but again, I wouldn't be going out and performing it. I'd want to practice it a bit. But there are tutorials in here for every skill level. Um, and multiple tutorials. Multiple performances and routines. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I will say that, like, it, it's because you're learning essentially something new. That I, Like, I say, basically, everyone is starting at the same place with decks because there's a new skill to get that card. Um like you may have used other indexes that kind of a crossover little bubble there. Actually, <laughs> 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 everyone's at the same starting point. So even if you're a day one beginner, you're going to be you're going to learn it essentially the same at the same pace as everyone because it's just kind of a new little knacky thing you do. Mm -hmm. So it really is um, is it is for all skill levels. Yes. Also, happy birthday to my uncle Tony who's watching this right now. Hello, Tony. Oh, happy birthday, Tony. <laughs> His birthday present is, is arriving today. Sorry, he's late. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's not his birthday. It's not his birthday isn't over yet. It's still gone, right? And and no, you can't have a Dex. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've only got one. With mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I I don't even have one. I won't even have one by the end of today. I'll have to give mine up. Yeah, I don't even have one. So I'm worried that when I go to put. I was going to just get one sent over from the warehouse. I don't think I can do that now. I have to wait for the, the next order to come in. Yeah. Yeah, which is like Sorry, what, six was, the small violins then for me. I'll have to send you mine then. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I bought for the possible, the only possible card tricks, I like to pepper with delivery of hints so that the po only possible explanation they can conceive is that somehow I influence them to pick that particular card. It's a good idea, Alex. What is it? Yeah. Um, Alex is the way he'd perform it in there. Um, Andrew says, happy birthday, Uncle Tony. Everyone's like, happy birthday, Tony. <laughs> in the chat. Yeah. Um, that's good. Um, I also just realized the time. It's five o'clock. I got to go pick up my son from school in like 15 minutes. Oh, right. Well, that's so, a perfect time for us to... Uh... Yeah, if you guys got any more questions, by all means, throw them up before I ha we, we have to take off. But... Um, yeah, again, the, the trailer. Sorry about the... Uh, you can watch the trailer again. You can watch this again. Um, we'll be posting it on socials and we'll be available all night, or night in the UK, all day for California and America um, to answer any questions you have on decks. Um, yeah, is there, any, is there any major questions? I did actually film an FAQ video. Um, and just before you jump off, I can, I can answer... I can quickly go through what those questions were because these are the main re repeating questions. Yep. Super duper... Quickly, um, uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking from the chat. So the thing was the reset we've covered, which is just like seconds. Uh, skill level covered. Favorite tricks. We haven't really covered all the favorite tricks, but whatever. Clothing we've covered. Is it really the world's fastest? Covered. Thickness covered. And uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I think we've covered everything for everyone. Yeah, we do have Rohan asking, are the cards in the same direction in your pocket? And yes, they are. They're all in the same direction. Yep. Simple um, as that. Or you, don't have, you, you could have some face in the ways if you want them yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. One, well, you, you could. You know could. how it's set up. You could definitely do that. Because I know, aren't there two different ways? You set yours up one way. Haven't you set yours one way up, Lloyd? Like, did you have your own performance styles for... Yeah, well, like like I got the four of diamonds out when it was supposed to be the four of spades just then. Javier, it's because I set mine up normally in chased order. Mm -hmm. And then I set it up in the new hydraulics order, which <laughs> imparts club spades diamonds. 
Um, <laughs> Uh, but, but I've always learned the same way as Javier, which is chase. That's why I pulled the diamond out instead of, instead of the other way around, um, because I was on autopilot. But this, so that's the difference. You can, what we found is that people will tend to name, we actually statistically did the suits. So yeah. we worked out that on average, people will name hearts first, then spades, then diamonds, then clubs. So we put them in the most accessible order. Um, so so that's why we have hydraulics, H D R C S, or, or, uh, and or chased. Um, so yeah. that's the two different orders that we have them in, and that's why I got the I went to do chased order in my head. It doesn't have to be hydraulics yeah. either. It could be Hilary Duff's cool shoes. <laughs> C S of cool shoes. Oh, there, yeah. that was fast. Yeah, or anything, <laughs> anything you want to say. Um, High well, definition what? content streaming <laughs> yeah. anyway you want to remember hdcs um is it in vertical or horizontal oh has already got it ready to go i love it um uh, which which... says oh, is it lloyd and have or other magicians there's jake keen on this project well his pdfs included and we talk about it andrew niner uh did you get eric stevens his video I haven't yet, but we, we we need to work on that one eric stevens's ideas to it too yeah um, can you perform it 360? I would say 360, except for when, obviously, when you when you get a card out. Um, I think you can. You if you get the card, card out, just get it into palm instead, and then just stay in your yeah. pocket this way. And now you can come here and then almost like relax there with the card in palm. So you can be um, probably 360 yeah. if you kind of just keep this sort of um hidden you know like whatever card you take out just kind of stay in your pocket and don't really show there just kind of keep it attached to your leg or like this or here and then you probably could do 360. <laughs> interesting thing about decks is i don't know if i'm in sight or not is that like I, I, you can see this in the performances and you'll notice this as the more you start performing decks is that they're not looking at your pocket. There's no reason for them to look at your pocket. Uh, I naturally stand with one hand in my pocket anyway. So it's, it's very, very, I remember this, the first time I explained to my wife what a stack was, right? I explained to her what the Monica was, even after explaining it to her and, and explaining that you can cut and complete, it still is in the same order, even if it starts somewhere else. It's very counterintuitive for lay people to consider these things and take them in as they are. So when you when you give them something like you say, take, look, take the deck, shuffle it up. It, it's 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 hard. It's, they're focusing all here, and everyone's thinking about what's going on. The, just the concept of retrieving a card from your pocket is just not in their in their peripheral vision of thought. It's not in their conscious. So it they. Even if they're looking at it, they're not seeing it, which is a really odd thing to to explain to someone that has an experience. If if you if you perform magic anyway, then it doesn't matter. But um, because you know what I mean. But like even if sometimes you, if you had a coin, uh, maybe a coin's a bit too on the nose. But I'm using it as a, as a as a big example. If you have a coin in finger palm, sometimes you can even flash it and they don't realize it because they don't think you're palming. They don't understand what palming is. That's a bit too much of an on the nose example, but. It's it's illustrating the point that they just don't think you've got the deck in your pocket, yeah. and that you're going to take the card out and add it to the deck they've got. It's just not where their trail of thought is going. So you could even like be burned because it's not visually registering. It's kind of the best way to describe it is card to mouth. If anyone does card to mouth really, and you perform this, you'll know so many people will look up at you with the card in your mouth and look back down the deck and carry on. Because it doesn't register that you've got yeah. the card in your mouth. And you'll see it. Go and just search card to mouth performances if you've never performed it. Watch the amount of people that look up at the magician with the card in their mouth and then look back down at the deck. They just don't register it. So you can even come out and and flash the card and it, it doesn't pick up because they're focusing on shuffling the deck or, yeah. or doing something else. It's a really weird one to explain if you don't yeah. perform. Yeah. But for those who do, I've pre I'm preaching to the converted. I just saw yeah. a really cool one here. Um, Alex Kilpatrick said head case for HDCS. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, that's what I felt like. A head <laughs> trying case to come up with one of these things. Suit because I was trying to do chased. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it difficult to memorize? Uh, no. 
And that's what I mean. Like once no. have showed me like the, the setup, I was yeah, it was really quick to memorize. Uh, again, once just, you know chased or yeah, those, <clears throat> yeah. Just, say, decide decide the, the on the suit. What do you want? Yeah, yeah. Um, could you use decks in a big pocket to transfer cards into another pocket? Um, that could be part of a trick. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, you do it. Yeah. You did a performance that I, I'll put up the performances later as we go along. Um, but you did a performance where you had like a appear in your hat, didn't you? So I think you were at a table yeah. and you had hat to yeah wallet anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, one of the thing, like if you if you want to do if you want to do it as a card to pocket, like a purely as a card to pocket, which you shouldn't do. We do actually talk about this on the tutorial as well. What you should be doing with it. Um, which is to, and it, and it doesn't really involve any palming either. Um, but whatever card they name, so what? Say I, I have decks in this pocket here. So for a card to pocket routine, I would pull it out of this pocket or my back pocket on the opposite side. So the, what I would say is, is uh, we got we cover it a lot in the tutorial, a lot more in depth than this. But in short, if you really want to do card to pocket, as you're chatting casually, one hand in the pocket, retrieve any card from decks and. You're gonna basically pass it behind your back as you tap it around, as if to look for your pocket, and then load it. So now this pocket really is empty. So their method is destroyed. Yeah. But we talked yeah. about timing and misdirection and everything that comes along with that. To in the tutorial. Perfect. I actually really like that a, a lot. But we know you have to go get little baby bear. Yeah, little baby bear. Yeah. I just saw Andrew saying. Um, the guy, he's got his kids going to be sitting on the street. I hope not. He's two years old. Um, although he loves cars, so he's probably sitting there looking at the cars. But I'm um, not being responsible for his. <laughs> uh, if this thing works, it's going to be solve a big problem for me. I've been fussing over for years. Um, yeah, I hope so. De definitely check it out. Um, the Magic Buzz. I appreciate it. But if you guys have got any questions, please shoot questions on the DMs. I'm about to post a post on social media. Um, for like, I think it's already up on YouTube. If you've got any questions there. Us and the guys are already checking it out on socials, but then also um, it'll be on our Instagram and Facebook and everywhere. So if you've got any questions, shoot us up. Um, Kevin By says, "Where's my decks?" In the bag. You. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I appreciate it. Thanks so much, Hav and Lloyd, for coming and joining. I really appreciate you coming Thanks. and talking everything decks. Uh, it means the absolute world. Oh, thank you for and having congratulations us. Congratulations on creating such an, an awesome effect. Like like I said, I don't haven't used the decks before and it was so easy and it blew me away on how easy it was to pick up and how much you guys put effort into this with just not coming up with one routine and saying this is you know, an index, you come up with all these routines. Um because I had a lot of people while posting on social media, I had a lot of people going, Where's Dex? And I was like, Oh, should they're talking about next month? And then you guys are chatting, you're like, oh, no, 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 nothing more months, more months, because you kept coming away and coming up with more ideas, more things to do with it. And I was like, guys, yeah. you're killing it. So on behalf of me, I appreciate it. And everyone else, thank you so much. Um, thank you, guys. Oh, thank you, guys. And thank oh, you also thank to everyone. You. Thank, yeah. you, thank you, Javier, for teaming up with me on this and just literally turning it from a pencil drawing into what it is. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have a deck. So, Well, if it wasn't for your drawing, we also wouldn't have it. So thank you so much, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, thank See you. you later, guys. See you Thanks later. so much. Appreciate it. Bye.